Welcome to our online class. This is Mom Teresa Tobal. Join me to enjoy mathematics. Are you ready to learn about the geometric sequence? Let us find the n term and the geometric name. Let's go. What is geometric sequence? It is a sequence where each term after the first is obtained by multiplying the preceding term by a non-zero constant. So let's do it. Identify the first term, the number of terms, and the common ratio. Question number 1. In the geometric sequence 5, 25, 125, and 625, what is the answer? Correct. The first term is 5. The number of terms is 1, 2, 3, 4, and is 4. And the common ratio is equal to 5. Second term divided by the first term, that is 25, divided by 5, that is equal to 5. How about number 2 in the geometric sequence 1 over 10, 1, 10, and 100? What is the answer? Correct. The first term is 1 over 10. The number of terms is 1, 2, 3, 4. And the common ratio, it is easy from third term divided by the first term. So 10 divided by 1, that is equal to 10. How about number 3? In the geometric sequence, negative 1 over 6, 1 half, negative 3 halves, 9 over 2. What do you think is the answer? Correct. The first term is negative 1 over 6. The number of terms is 1, 2, 3, 4. So n is equal to 4. And the common ratio is equal to negative 3. Because 1 half divided by negative 1 over 6. So 1 half, get the reciprocal of this. So 1 half times negative 6. So that is negative 6 divided by 2. So negative 6 divided by 2, the answer is equal to negative 3. Let us find the n term of the geometric sequence. Question number 1. If a sub 1 is equal to 3 and a sub 2 is equal to 12, find the sixth term. So the first term is 3. The common ratio so that is dividing second term divided by the first term. So 12 divided by 3, that is equal to 4. And the number of terms, that is equal to 6. So the formula is a sub n or a sub 6 because 6 term is unknown is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. We need to replace all the given to the formula. So that becomes a sub 6 is equal to 3 times the common ratio that is 4. The number of terms is 6 minus 1. So that becomes subtract the exponent that is 6 minus 1 is 5. So 3 times 4 raised to the 5th power. We need to expand 4 to the 5th. It is not 4 times 5, but we need to expand. So that becomes, we need to write 4, 5 times. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and then copy positive 3. We need to multiply all 4 to the 5th. So that becomes 4 times 4 is 16, 16 times 4 is 64, 64 times 4 is 256, 256 times 4 is 1024. So the sixth term of this geometric sequence is 3 times 1024, that is 3072. Question number two. If the third term is 5, the eighth term is 1 over 625, find the sixth term. So the eighth term is 1 over 625. The third term is 5. The number of terms is equal to 6. Why 6? From the third term after the eighth term, that is 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So n is equal to 6. Let us solve the sixth term. The formula to be used is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. 
But before we get the sixth term, let us identify the common ratio. So this is the solution. The formula now is a sub 8 is equal to a sub 3 times r raised to n minus 1. Why a sub 8? That is the last term. Why a sub 3? Because we have no first term. Times r raised to n minus 1. So let us substitute. A term is 1 over 625. The third term is 5 times r, and the number of terms is 6 minus 1. Subtract the exponents so that becomes 6 minus 1 is equal to 5. The rest, copy. To cancel 5, multiply both sides by 1 over 5. So, 1 times 1 is 1. 5 times 625 is 3,125. 5 times 1 is 5 divided by 5, that is equal to 1. Or we may cancel 5, the answer is also equal to 1. To solve for r, write the pip root on both sides, so that becomes pip root of 1 over 3,125, and then pip root of r raised to the pip power. So the value of r is equal to 1 over 5. So the common ratio for question number 2 is 1 over 5. So we have the common ratio, so we can solve the sixth term. So the formula to be used is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. So we need to replace the value of n by 6 because sixth term is unknown. So we have no first term, so we need to replace a sub 1 by a sub 3. So times r raised to n minus 1. So let us substitute. a sub 6 is unknown and the third term is 5. The common ratio now is 1 over 5, and then the number of terms is equal to 4. Why 4? Because 3, 4, 5, 6. From third up to the sixth term, that is equal to 4. So subtract the exponent, that is that becomes 4 minus 1, that is equal to 3. So a sub 6 is equal to 5 times the quantity 1 over 5 raised to the third power. We need to expand 1 over 5 3 times. So that becomes 1 over 5 times 1 over 5 times 1 over 5. Copy 5. If we multiply the parentheses, that becomes 1 times 1 is 1 times 1 is 1. 5 times 5 is 25 times 5, that is 125. Copy 5. So we need to get the answer. The lowest term of 5 over 125 is 1 over 25. So the sixth term of this given is 1 over 25. Let us proceed to geometric mean. Question number one. Give the geometric mean between 3 and positive 12. So the first term is 3. The last term is 12. The number of terms is 1, 2, and 3. We need to identify the common ratio and then the second term. So the solution, the formula is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. a sub n is equal to 12. The first term is 3 times r. The number of terms is 3 minus 1. Subtract the exponent that becomes 3 minus 1 is 2. To solve for r, we need to divide both sides with positive 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1. 12 divided by 3, that is equal to 4. To solve for r, write the square root on both sides. So that becomes the square root of 4 is equal to square root of r squared. So the value of r is equal to 2. So the common ratio is 2. So if we solve, 3 times 2 is 6. 6 times 2, that is equal to 12. So the geometric mean between 3 and 12, that is equal to 6. Insert three geometric mean between 5 and 3,125. The first term is 5. The n term or the last term is 3,125. The number of terms is 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. So let us see the three geometric mean. So let us solve the common ratio to get the three geometric mean between 5 and 3,125. 
The formula is a sub n is equal to a sub 1 times r raised to n minus 1. The last term is 3,125. The first term is 5 times r. The number of terms is 5 minus 1. Subtract the exponent that becomes 5 minus 1 that is equal to 4. So we need to divide both sides with positive 5. If we divide, 3,125 divided by 5 is equal to 5 r raised to the 4th over 5. 3,125 divided by 5 is 625. 5 divided by 5, that is equal to 1. To solve for r, write the 4th root on both sides. That becomes 4th root of 625 is equal to 4th root of r raised to the 4th power. So the common ratio is equal to 5. So r is equal to 5. So let us see the geometric mean between 5 and 3,125. So 5 times 5 is 25. 25 times 5 is 125. 125 times 5, the answer is equal to 625. So the three geometric mean between 5 and 3,125 is 25, 125, and 625. Let us practice what you have learned to find the n term of the geometric sequence and the geometric mean. Question number one. Find the seventh term of the geometric sequence 5, 15, 45, and 135. A is 1,215. B is 3,645. C is 405. D is 2,430. What do you think is the answer? Correct. The answer is 3,645. Question number 2. Find the a sub 10 if the first term is 3 and the common ratio is equal to positive 2. What do you think is the answer? Correct. The answer is letter C that is 1,530. Six. Question number three. Give the geometric mean between 11 and 44. What is the answer? Correct. The answer is equal to 22. Question number four. Insert three geometric mean between 6 and 96. What is the answer? Correct. The answer is 12, 24, and 48. Because 6 times 2 is 12, 12 times 2 is 24, 24 times 2 is 48, 48 times 2, the answer is equal to 96. Enjoy learning mathematics. I'm Clarissa Tubal. Thank you so much.